black tan. Pen number 1484. Come from Carmen Stud. It's 11 months old. It's a doe. And its mother was in the top six at London 2007 as an under five rabbit. Lovely black tan doe you've got there. Is someone going to start the bidding on this one then, please? They're intelligent, easy to care for, uh, versatile, and they're just a fun to be around. They get into all sorts of uh, tricks and trouble, and they're just brilliant pets, brilliant for children, and uh, reliable. If they're easily trained and, and socialised from day one, no chance of them biting anybody. And they're just, I take them into school as a teacher quite often, and children all love them. Hello. So I can guarantee that once you've had them, you know what brilliant pets they are, you'll never be without a rat again. Started keeping these as a teenager, never been without them. My name's Steve Neddy and I'm Education Officer at Exmoor Zoo. And Exmoor Zoo actually keeps Gambian pouch rats and uh, is promoting awareness of these guys. Hero rats is what they're called in Africa. Now, they're called hero rats because of these things, landmines. An estimated 100 million buried. Every 20 minutes one explodes, 90 countries are affected by them, and they can cost as little as 50 pence to buy. Now, traditionally, metal detectors were used in dogs to find these things, but Belgian company Apopo have successfully trained giant Gambian pouch rats to actually do the job for them, where they're known in Africa as hero rats. Basically, they're trained from a very early age, um, <clears throat> from about five weeks, and they get to associate a with a food reward. And once they know that, they they get used to the fact that the smell of TNT means um, a food reward. From that, they're trained on dummy landmines on harnesses, and from that, eventually, they're certificated and they work in the field. Now, a properly trained hero rat in 30 minutes can do what would take two gentlemen two days to actually do. So although they may not particularly be liked by people outside the fancy, these chaps in Africa actually save lives and they need help. And how do you help them? By adopting one. What we can do actually, if you keep filming on him, there he goes, safely away. <laughs> keep going. I think it's just that you can look after them and they're not that big and they're not just such an effort to do it but you can still like do a good job and you get to meet all the people at shows and socialise and things. I want to do some judging. I want to do a lot. I try and do judging, see if I enjoy it. Um, hopefully to win Bradford, Harrogate, in January, one year. Like that's most people's dreams. So yeah, I've got hopefully a few expectations. There it is. Okay, so Astrid Studs, four and a half month old Polish Martin Sable Buck, who's going to start the bidding at twenty pound. Twenty pound, somebody. £15 anybody at this lovely rabbit, £15 over there to my right, £15, £18 anybody?
20 pounds, sir. 20 pounds. 22. 24, sir. It's away with you. 24. 26. 26. 28. 30. 30. It's not your bid. 30 pounds. 32. 34. 36. 38. 36 pounds, my gentleman, over to my right. 38 pounds, anybody? 38 pounds, anybody else interested in this lovely rabbit? So 36 pounds to the gentleman over there to my right. 38 pounds for this lovely Polish. Going once, going twice. Sold to the gentleman over there, lot 1493, paddle number 35.